Well, I only deal with one thing at a time. I don't do questions. I look at one single topic. Because if you jump every few minutes onto a different topic, you just go in a yeah. big circle, going nowhere. It's best to focus on one thing. Maybe when you have some time, it might be possible um, for you to help. What is the Quran's view of the previous scriptures, the Torah, Torah, and the Injil Gospel? Hmm. Okay. Um, would you like me to answer that for you now? Yes, yes, of course. So, so the, the Qur'an's um, view, or the, the Muslim view, um, based upon the Qur'an, is that these books were revealed to previous prophets by God, the same God that, that we worship, of course, but they were, um, they were, they were, they were um, changed by the followers of the prophets that came after them. And... So generally, we take the approach that anything which we find to be the same as what we have in the Quran, we accept. Anything which is mentioned that is not mentioned in the Quran or by our Prophet, we don't say anything about. We say it could be the case. And anything which goes against the Quran or that which our Prophet came with, we, we don't accept. Um, that wasn't my question. You, you said you try to explain the Muslim position that yeah. wasn't my question my question is what does the quran actually say about the torah torah and the angel gospel yeah so 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 the quran says that they are books revealed to the prophets that came before prophet muhammad by god right i mean for instance surah 6114 do you mind if i read it yeah go ahead uh, say O muhammad shall i seek a judge other than Allah, while it is he who has sent down to you the book, the Quran explained in detail. So it mentions the Quran. Now it goes on. Those to whom we gave the scripture, the Torah, Torah and Injil gospel, know that it is revealed from your Lord in truth. So be not you of those who doubt. Surah 6115, the next verse. And the word of your Lord, which I would say applies to all three books, and the word of your Lord has been fulfilled in truth and in justice. None can change his words. And he is the all-hearer, the all-knower. So it refers to the Torah and the Injil as being revealed from God in truth. Yeah. Um, it says none can change God's words. So the Muslim position, surely, that the previous scriptures have been corrupted, goes against the Quran. It's not a Quranic position. It's from tradition, centuries after Muhammad, but it's not the position of the Quran, as, as far as I can see. Yeah, so, so, so the word in the second verse that you, that you referred to means it's relating to um, the Quran itself. As the Quran is referred to, um, one of the titles of the Quran is Kalam Allah, the word of Allah. And so the word there, um, in the Arabic language, um, it's a grammatical issue. So in the Arabic language, grammatically, um, the the subject, um, i.e. the the uh, what we were look at, refer to in Arabic as the muqtada, um, the the information given in a sentence relates only to the subject of that. And so, so the the word that that you're referring to there is the Quran. So, are you saying that the Torah and the Injil are not the word of God? No, they they are the word of God, but but the word of God, um, i.e. the Quran, abrogated that which came before it. Therefore, when well, we where does where does the where does the Quran say that? It's all very well to make a statement. You have to prove what you say. Where does the Quran no, no, say no. that it abrogates the previous books that came before it? Okay, so 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 Robert, I think what would be helpful is if, is if we communicate via email, and then I can send. The, the actual verses to you, and we can we can have a discussion um, by email. Is that suitable for you? No, no, I, I I'm not doing email. In the past, I've been spammed by people. I've spoken to Seventh Day Adventists and Jehovah's Witnesses, and they don't stop spamming you via email. So I'm not giving you my email okay. address. I'm happy to speak on the phone or WhatsApp or Zoom. Okay. Um, okay. I mean, me I mean, are, are you saying there's two words of God? No. Hang on, let me just make my point. Are you saying there's one word of God, the Quran, which cannot be changed, and there's another word of God, the Torah and the Injil, which is the word of God, but it can be changed? That seems to be what you're saying. And it's it's quite obvious that Surah 6115 
when it says none can change his words, it means none can change the words of Allah. Yeah, so none can change his words there, meaning the, the, the Qur'an. So that's referring to the Qur'an. Well, why, why did the previous verse mention the Torah and the Injil? It says it's revealed from your Lord in truth. Those to whom we gave the scripture, right, that's a different revelation to the Quran. That's referring to, to the Torah and the Injil. Know that it is revealed from your Lord in truth, so be not of those who doubt. It's not saying don't doubt the Quran, it's saying don't doubt the previous revelation, the Torah and the Injil. No, don't be, of the, don't be in doubt of the Quran. But, but Robert, so what, mm. let me, I'll, what we'll do is, um, I, I can send you the Quran out, the, the translation yes. that I recommended, uh, because I have an, I have an appointment right yes, now. Yes, of course. And, and then uh, we can continue to correspond um, in the near future. Okay, thank you very much indeed, sir. Uh, thank you for your time, Robert. Oh, oh which, um, which mosque did you say you were again? Uh, Lewisham Islamic Centre. Lewisham Islamic Centre. Thank you very much indeed, sir. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.